Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and I'm coming back, and I'm, I haven't had a play with this yet, and it's one of these with loads of numbers, uh, 3, 1, and B, C, and all that, it's all numbered, and oh, very complicated, a bit like an old to new stamp set, so I'm using the large one, which is A1, A, oh my gosh, I can't even see it, uh, I can't even see the numbers, oh, a2, oh, 2A, 2B, 2C. Do you know what? And then I'm using the smaller one as well, but I'm only going to use those two, which is A3 and AB, A, 3A and 3B. Even these little tiny things here, I've got, uh, where's the A? A5, 5A, 5B and 5C. And then obviously we've got the leaves and I'm using the sentiment wishing you all wishing you all things fabulous and then we've got this little plant here as well and I just thought I haven't even decided I haven't made a card yet so I just thought I'd come along and just have a tittle about with you so I've chose some colours I've chose Night of Navy uh, this is Sahara Sand I wanted to give it like an antique look or maybe a vintage maybe I should grab my oh what are they called oh my goodness my oxide inks the, I can't think what they're called my blending ones if I can find them there they are my o distress oxides but I don't know if I've got the right colour so I've got vintage uh, Victorian velvet broken china I've only got four I've got frayed burlap and vintage photos so let's see oh my goodness I think that one would go with that one let's have a go with this let's grab us the tool out the fresh pad uh, no, 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 no. let me use my scissors Oh my, I'm going to leave it on there. I can't do that. Where I? I've got some tissue. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I like? I'm in a right faffle. I've just spent an hour putting these nails on and I just chipped one straight away. So they're not real nails, it's just five layers of nail polish. Oh, cool, blimey, that nearly out on my card as well. So these are just cheap ones. I haven't got the proper ones. I just bought cheap and they don't always pay off. So, but there we go. I've got a clean pad on now and I'm going to throw that one in the bin. Ugh. And I'm going to distress my card now. So when I come to point it all together, hopefully it'll be dry enough. So just shift it, just giving it a little distressing around the edges. Only on the front. Because I like these thick card bases. Um, I could distress it inside as well, but I haven't got a sentiment to go on the inside. But there we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. I can... You could, the best way to see if you've got enough on there as well is, again, just before you start messing, just have a look. Oh, that looks cute. Nice. So I'm just going to leave that to dry before I get covered in it. I'm going to pop my things away. And pop them back down there, out the way. Nicely done. I'm going to stamp on here to give it again a bit more of a vintage look. So, I we're going to use um, little Night of Navy when I can find it. Come out, come out. There you are. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. There it is, hiding under my. Uh, oh, I'm not using mossy meadow. It's too dark. So 
let's pick some subtle greens. Pear pizzazz, I like that one. Uh, what else have we got? Ooh, seaside. Oh my goodness, what is this one? Soft sea foam. Um, what else? Let's try a little bit of well, Coastal Cabana. It's been more blue than green. Yeah. Um, maybe some mint macaron. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to swap them up. Oh, I don't know, though. I like... No, I'm going to stick with those two. So. <laughs> right, I need some decent... Something to stamp off on. Because this is going to be the centre of my flowers. So let's pick something nice and pale. So let's go balmy blue. I like balmy blue. And I've got uh, nearly every block out that I own. So let's do the leaves after. Right. Let's grab small flower. So this is the pale. Let's just do one. On our scrap. Cute. Let's have a, because you can always do it on a scrap piece of paper to test it, rather than dirty up something else. Now that doesn't look pretty, does it? That might look better with a paler. Well, that's better, isn't it? It's too dark, and that one seems to be about right. So let's have a practice. And I'm just gonna. Oh, that's cute. I'm just gonna space these out. There's no arrows, see? There's no right or wrong way of putting this on. So look at that. It's gone like a milky colour. Like blotchy. Much better. What if I go back over there? Hmm. Um, I'm going to have a tad on the end there. And I have a tad showing on there. And a little bit showing on there. I think that is so cute up to now. So cloth at the ready for cleaning. You know I like uh, to clean as I go along, so I'll leave that at the side of me. Clink it, make sure you clink it into place. So now let's decide where we're going to have this Knight of Navy. Stamp off. Mmm, nice. Cute. Lovely. Bit, uh, Cute and pale, isn't it? Oh, and then he went full strength on that one. Perfect. That looks really sweet, doesn't it? I'm loving that. So, this has got a tinge of red in, so I'll take them for a deep clean later. So, I'm leaving that open because I am coming in with... 
I've got this cute little plant here and it's got that's the stick and this is going to be the you'll see now so let's get rid of that a sec let's pop so I'm going to show you now just a quick one oh look at that how sweet is that that is gorgeous in fact come down a bit so you can see how beautiful oh shavings wrong pot whoops right green going up first so do the green And move your card around. Just have some peekaboo time. Perfect. And then we're going to leave that for a minute just while we let's grab our paper back in so I don't. Go too far over. How sweet are these little flowers? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Perfect, they're going on absolutely gorgeous. I love it. How cute are those? Am I using a different tone when you think about it? Because that's darker than that and that's paler than that even. We've got a few more on the end here. Beautiful. How sweet. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to grab some Whisper White as well. I've got some pieces here that I can use. I'm going to use uh, the green. I want two of those. Making sure I've got plenty of space. I'll have a couple of those. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. So let's pull that to one side. I am just gonna do a couple of these and then I can die cut these out because I've got all the pieces. How gorgeous are those? They're too cute for words. So have a practice, have a play, you know. I don't think we need our scrap anymore, but that is that one. And then, oh, we're gonna come back now with Let's, let's pop that to one side ready for die cutting and then let's suss that one out where I add that, that and that so purpose that here I'm just doing one to practice Maybe I should turn that round. I will do in a sec. Wow, I need a slightly darker green. Let's go Granny Apple. And that's for this little piece. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Beautiful. So let's do a few of those. Let's do our stem first. I got a bit of a boo boo there, so. Try 
try and get that off. Um, let's point that one there. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. And then go for the soft sea foam. Let me just clear that off and turn it round. That way I know I've got it the right way. So I can just dip the ends. That's so cute. Gina's got an itchy ear. Right, now for our granny apple green. That is too cute. So not only are we going to build some beautiful flowers with the whisper white pieces, we're creating a lovely background as well. That is too cute. Oh my lord. Right, now I get some Whisper White. One. Two, let's do three. That is so cute. I can't believe I haven't played with this set yet. Wow. This because it's got so many bits, I think it tends to put me off a little bit when there's way too many stamps. But I loved the pictures on the front. And then you, it's when you realise how many there are. Oh, let me have a look on the front, see what it says. 26. And when you start arranging from tiny, tiny little things, like that, I'm like, whoa, it can be a bit daunting sometimes to somebody. Oof. It, even though I'm a craft, you know, a good crafter, I think I'm a good crafter. You know, it can be a little bit daunting. So that's going to one side because you get uh, these little things to cut these out, so I can cut a couple out at a time. I need my oh, Mr. Boyce is coming with my cup of coffee. Okay. <gasps> you are a darling. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you, baby. Okay. I love you too. Right now, we're going to move on to this beautiful big flower. Oh my goodness. So let's let's do the leaves while we've got the green out first. So I want two dark ones. Absolutely beautiful. Oh wow, I love it. Let's go for the seaside spray. Uh, soft sea foam even. Yeah, perfect. That's what I want. Let's get two of each of those. That is stunning. And then one, two, oh, pale. I know it's going to be a pain in the bum, but I've got to cut all these out, but it'll be worth it. So we've got two each of the large, two each of the small, perfect. So that's the leaves sorted. Because they, they give you uh, one, you've got two of the leaf dies, so it'd be plenty. So there's those. And what else now? The flower. Oh my goodness. So I do need to fetch back my balmy blue. I'm doing a large flower. And some more whisper white. I don't think that Oh, I could use, mind you, I'm going to use a different thing. So. That's the first bit. I'm going to stamp off. 
Where's my paper gun for stamping off? There. And then there's the first step. Let's do two. Oh my goodness, stunning. And then this is the second part. So this is gonna have to stay full strength. Let's just practice on here. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's pretty. beautiful and then this is the last part so. oh my goodness stunning beautiful absolutely beautiful love it so there's our gorgeous flowers Am I going to do small ones? Hmm. Do you know what I'm thinking? Let me have a swig of my coffee and concentrate. Um, let's just do one more, is it? Yes, let's do one more. So, large flower, stamp off. Perfect. Second section, full strength. Gorgeous. And then let's go stamp off with this one. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Those flowers are stunning. So let's pop them back. I don't think I need anything else. Let's put that down for a minute. Oh, oh should we run should we run this through an embossing folder? Oh let's do that. Oh my goodness. Let's add some texture. So I've got I was playing, well, I was looking at it earlier. I got my subtles out. So I'm going to run this through here. Try and line it up. Keep it a little bit straight. Right. I've already run that through my big shot. In this, I think this is balmy blue. So, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I will. Hopefully, look at that, peeled off. Most of it's come out. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna take a lot to get the rest off. I'm gonna take off my sandwiches and my subtles. It's definitely not gonna go through. So let's try that sandwich. No, that's too bad. Gorgeous, look at that. It's added that simple little texture to it. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So let's get Pokey 2. Literally just poke those little bits out. Maybe I should have had this prepped. Some of the leaves and stuff maybe but i should be able to fetch my little dye machine in i 
The only thing about a regret about my large camera up top is I can't do it on my phone because I'd have a pause button because I could always pause, cut everything out and come back, but I can't do that with my camcorder. That looks good to me. There's one last there. The good thing about this magnetic plate, apart from it's not really because it's curling up and I've only used it a few times, is that when we come to do the die cutting, we can add a Our flower and it should stay right there's those is that the one no is that the one yep and I've got two of those so I can do that one and that one together Um, the leaf or this little beautiful plant here is this one and I've got two of those and let's do the single leaf because we're going to get one of those Fingers crossed. Give me a sec. I'll probably only have to run it through three times, thankfully. Oh, wrong. I haven't got my bits on. So I need my plate back on. And where's my bottom plate gone? I've lost my bottom plate. <laughs> Just came up. There it is. No, my button plate is my actual grey one. Just checking they haven't moved. Perfect. So there's one. I've got no nails. They've both come out. Oh, perfect. How sweet of them. And my little leaves come out. I'm dropping things on the floor. Oh. So they're done. That one's done. Let's get this one on here. And let's try and get the large one on here. Please bear with me again. Just to make sure nothing moves. Perfect, now we've got all those. I don't need that no more. Is that the same one? No, that's a totally different leaf altogether. Move that across. I 
A lot of die cuttings. Sorry, I should have prepared some of these, shouldn't I? Only a few more times. Perfect. So that's done. Oh, look, it's still attached right on the edge. I will trim that out in a minute. So that go back. I'm going to put them up the top end so I can just flash them through and come backwards. Oh, one more. This is the last time going through. Yay! So this will be quicker. Oh, they stick sometimes, don't they? Slippery little sucker. So there we go, look, and how the hell are we supposed to stop this from curling? I'll never know. So dies can go back in. Oh, I've still got one. Oh my goodness. Last one. <laughs> Again, if we get ready, if it was loose. Definitely the last one. make sure I use them all now, isn't it? They're definitely there. There we go. So we used up scraps to make a beautiful card. Well, hopefully it'll be beautiful in a minute. Hey, I've just got a bit of a dribble going on. Sorry, I do apologise. It's because the heating's been on all day as well. Oh, lovely. So tiny little bit is stuck in there. There we go, that's got that. Let This should be dry now as well. Yes, lovely. I'm loving this. Let's pop that in there. That's better. Now we can do start building our card. So, let's add our I saw somebody else stamp on this Taylor card and it looked lovely. Oh, a long time ago though. But I can't remember it was. Many moons. Right, let's pop that on there. Nice little border. That is so cute. We've got some gorgeous ribbon here. I can't remember which set this is from. So I'm going to tie this pretty big. I want a nice big bow, but I don't want, that's it. I don't want the loops to curl like that. So hold your loop when you pull. Why does it want to curl? Why, why, why? Isn't that a good stretch? Oh, that's it, that's got it, right. Maybe I'll cut one a little bit smaller. At least we've only lost that much. We haven't lost a great deal. So now I'm going to just dot these on the edges. Squash that down. Add a bit more under there. Looks cute. Right, let's get some of these beautiful flowers on dimensionals and the leaves. Flip 
please let my nails grow back. I can't. Oh, do you know when you always drive me up the wall? That's it. Flip over and stay over. Right. Oh, I'm not. Dimensionals. Let's add that beautiful big bow there. You're not going to see this one. You just see the tips and the tails hanging out. I know, I like to see a bow all over, but uh, trust me. Right, large dimensionals on the flowers and I'm only adding one on each not because I'm tight <laughs> because I, I want to be able to tuck things in and maneuver them around and stuff maybe oh my goodness leave the pale one is there another one that one so before we squash that down let's leave the paler ones oh my goodness just add them to the dark pale 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 dark and those gorgeous little things there. Perfect. Now I need something. Uh, I'm going to use. I think I want, mind you, I want distress. Oh, I like in my box. I've got some more. I've got loads of it, so I could use a piece of that. In fact, I might just do that actually to match. And I know you're going to think I'm a right crap pot in a minute. Use my. I think that should be long enough for my sentiment. Let's check. Perfect, actually. So let's cut that out of there. Sorry about more die cutting, but I'm going to make it look fabulous. My heart will put it in on the straight. So there's for my sentiment. Could have used, we could have used the postage stamp, I suppose, as well, punch. Now, I'm going to do this in Night of Navy to finish it all off. And then we can build this beautiful card up. Wishing you all things for luck at that, girls. Woo -hoo -hoo. Beautiful. Nice vintage card. Perfect. Copy time. Hmm. So, let's uh, get this glue on the back of here now and attach it to the base of our card which has been distressed perfect right let's put it in view where you can see so making sure you've got a good border top bottom and all around I'm gonna give that a quick flick and a quick rub just to make sure it's all down and now it's coming back now I need dimensionals for my 
I'm going to use a strip actually. One at the top, one at the bottom. And this little strip. Oh, it's just a small one. That's okay. That's okay. Perfect. All right, the back's off. Get my little tin in. Come on, get oh my goodness. Right, now I'm going to attach. I'm going to come right to the edge of this card and make sure it's straight game there before. Oh, I've pulled off my bow. That's better. So I just got there. Beautiful. Now let's get these gorgeous flowers arranged. One there. One there. <gasps> Love it. Don't want to cover this pattern up though. Might even. Yeah, I'm going to put that one there. Right, large leaves now. I'm going to put the paler ones glued down. And the darker ones, just like next door, but over the top, so you can just still see them. Excuse me. I get excited when I'm crafting. I hold my breath and I shouldn't. Instead of breathing. Okay, now, nah, just doesn't. This time, this one is going just under there with that one. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Da -da. Now I'm adding glue on the back and just tucking that. Oh my goodness, I can't I've got to lift that up. I'm, I've totally covered up that sentiment. Wrong place there. I still need to see it. So let's put that there. Bet you were all screaming at me going, Gamey, you've covered up your sentiment. Yes, I had. There we go. Beautiful. Some more thicker leaves. I still want to be able to see it a little bit. So, there's that little one there. And there's that one there. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's not if we can tuck that in there and then let's just dot these little beautiful things around if 
fabulous. Beautiful. And gorgeous. That is so nice. Oh my goodness. Let's get some Winker Stella on there. Gonna have a bit of spark and some gems. Oh, what gems can we use? Let's have a look. Check our battery's okay for a minute. Yeah, let's use some of these beautiful, elegant, clear ones here. Make them look like raindrops. A large one and a small one. A large and a small. A large and a small. And they look like raindrops. I think that is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's pull that one down a little bit more there. Oh, beautiful. And then I'll wink a Stella and just dab the centers because I don't want to smush it. That's it, that's all I'm doing. That is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Oh wow. It will still fit in a normal size envelope, trust me. I'll get one now and show. Because your envelopes have got a bit of leeway. Look, that will still fit inside my envelope. I think that is that. Wish you knew all things fabulous. Absolutely gorgeous card. <gasps> I would, whoops. I would really love a thumbs up and a share. That is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's going to be like a little jigsaw puzzle now to put all those um, stamps back inside the case. But that was so worth it. Absolutely adorable. I love it. So, thank you for watching. Till next time. Don't forget to give two thumbs up. And if you're new... Don't forget to press subscribe and the bell. I do post every single day, so come and see what I make tomorrow. Thank you for visiting my channel today. I love you all. Bye.